Hey everybody, it's been a little while and uh, I wanted to do a video today on um, a little topic called uh, uh, series aiding voltages versus uh, series opposing voltages. Um, I'm sure this is familiar to many of you, but for those of, of those of you who it is not, um, the idea is normally, you know, if we have uh, uh, multiples of the same battery, like let's say we need a circuit that has um, a three volt supply, uh, we would probably just stick these in series and treat it as one, uh, you know, one battery. And uh, this would supply roughly three, maybe 3.2, depending on how fresh the batteries are. But the question is, what happens when you do this and you stick them end to end or this way, end to end? And uh, this used to confuse me um, when I would see this in uh, some schematics and I wasn't uh, sure why they were doing it. Um, so in this quick video I'm going to show the rules for how to make sense of it and then quickly address why you would ever do it. So uh, let's turn our multimeter on for a sec and assess what ratings or what voltage uh, potentials these guys have right now. And I purposely picked two separate or two uh, double A's at uh, different levels of uh, freshness, if you will. So this is 1.37 volts to say 1.38. And this one, uh, 1.62, I guess. So 38 to 62 would be what? 22, 24 point. 0.24 uh, volts difference, roughly. So we said this was the stronger, stronger of the two. That's the weaker. So if we put them in series, then we should have what is that like 2.2.9 uh, and change. So 2.994. Good. Now if we I think this was a strong one, let me make sure. Yeah. So, keeping in mind that this is the stronger battery, if we were to flip this one around and have the positive uh, components of each touching each other, what we'd end up with is the absolute difference of the voltages between the two batteries. So if this was 1.6 and this was 1.3, we'd have like 0.3 volts uh, for the battery and the direction of, uh, well, rather the polarity of this new type of battery would be controlled by the stronger of the two batteries. So because this one has the red lead or the, you know, the positive side of the battery here and the negative here, and this was the stronger battery, then if I were to touch this end and this end, we should have about point, you know, 0.3 or 0.2 and change uh, volts for this battery configuration. And there you go, 0.24 volts. So, uh, likewise, just to be complete, if we flip them around again the other way, keeping in mind this was still the stronger of the two, Uh, we should now flip our leads around because positives over here and it should still output 0.24 volts as you see. So uh, the general rules there are take the larger of the two voltages, subtract the smaller one from it, and the polarity of your new battery is controlled by the stronger battery. So the question now is, is why would we ever do that? And really it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you need, like let's say you have some sort of um, audio based circuit, um, you might consider the central point between the two your ground, your virtual ground, which would then allow you the ability to uh, have both positive and negative uh, voltage available um, with, with, you know, relative to your, your ground for the circuit, which is pretty handy because um, most of the basic circuits I've played with so far are, you know, hey, I've got ground and I've got positive voltage, but this is pretty cool because it allows you to kind of split that. 
So that's really all there is to um, series aiding voltages and series opposing voltages. Um, just remember, the rules here are regarding polarity, nothing to do with current. This is just polarity. So when the batteries are in series, you sum them, and that's your voltage. Well, when they're in series and in the same uh, agreeing, you know, polarity direction they are, and uh, just added. But when they are meeting end to end with the same polarity, then you have to subtract the larger, um, or rather the smaller from the larger, and then look to the stronger of the two as your uh, polarity indicator. Well, that's it, and I uh, hope this has been informative.